Hello everybody, how's it going? As you'll probably notice, I do a lot of these in the car. It's convenient and there's not a lot of noise. So, anyways, again, I apologize if my head's shaking around and stuff. I know that can probably be really irritating. I want to do a session today on why I'm doing this. I really touched on it just barely in the first blog I did about introducing myself and that I have multiple mood disorder diagnosis and uh, thought it would be helpful for some of you to maybe learn a little bit more why this is important and why I feel I've been called to, I don't know, <laughs> bring some of these conversations to the forefront. Um, I suffered for seven years I, I was I went through a really difficult divorce. I'll talk, tell that story another day. But the impact of that situation changed me, and it changed the way my brain functioned. I guess I've learned that traumatic episodes and incidents can cause a dramatic shift in brain chemistry. I had had a predisposition to a lot of the the diagnosis I have, which again, for those that haven't heard. Bipolar 2, ADHD, um, some additional more acute depression, and then problems with generalizable anxiety. I cannot tell you how frustrating and difficult and hard it was on me and my family and my wife going through the throes of trying to get answers, trying to get people to help me, trying to get to understand what it even meant, trying to get past the stigmas, trying to feel like I was a total worthless loser, that I was like some sort of like, you know, second class citizen, all these things that you go through when you're told, oh, by the way, now you're diagnosed as this, you just, you feel like crap and it sucks. And, you know, for a lot of you, and I see a lot of people, they don't, they never get over that. And it's, it's like this, this bottomless pit that can suck you into that can be devastating. It caught, I mean, this is where I see people, you know, commit suicide and stuff, and it's nasty business. So I've been kicking and screaming, fighting for the last seven years to not fall into the traps that I saw other people did. For example, taking meds and being reliable on that and not bucking the system. Um, fighting for my, not my life, but for my rights with my doctor to make sure that I'm getting diagnosed and I'm getting the right medication, uh, learning from counseling, all this stuff that I've gone through and I've, I've seen and just, I feel called. God has been with me through this entire experience and he has rescued me in so many occasions and he is such an integral part of my treatment that I was nudged to do this. And I really, I'm, I'm a very normal dude. There's nothing fancy about me. Um, I don't like a lot of attention. Um, but, but I know this is that I care about people that have this and I care about you guys and the others that struggle and they don't, they don't get the answers and they don't get the help and they, they don't, they don't know who to talk to. There's no conversations. They're not, we're not having real discussions about, really, what is it like? What is it like to have this crap? And how can you use this crap? How can, maybe, I'll talk about some of the good stuff, fighting the fight. There's some things that the, the eccentric nature of our personalities can be used for good. You just got to figure out how to do that. That's hard. That's not easy. That's, you know, that's kind of the, you got to crawl before you walk, before you run. I mean, when you're running, then you can start using your illness in ways that in I, my opinion, it's not an illness. But the bottom line is this, we're not even there. For most people, we're at ground zero and below. And that's the people I want to reach. I want, I want to help you guys. So you don't go, when you go down there, that it's not, you're not alone. And that's what I learned through my faith is that God was there when I was at the bottom. And that's, it's just something I, I'll never forget. And I, for whatever reason, he's 
given me the task to tell people about this. So I'm going to do the best I can. I'm sure I'll make mistakes. I'm sure there's going to be stuff that is wrong and doesn't make sense. But I promise you this. I'll do my damnedest to be just as open and honest, genuine about what we deal with. And I hope, I pray that for a lot of you, you, you it, we take it a day at a time. And you know what? I, won't, I, I pray that maybe tomorrow's better than today and the next day. And when you have that bad day where you bottom out and you're just freaking pile of crap and you're thinking awful nasty negative things that are could be destructive to you that you look up and you <coughs> excuse me see the light and it's God and he's there and he's open arms and he loves you and he wants to help so that's why I'm doing this thanks for listening guys God bless